The Salvation Army traced its beginnings to 1865, when William Booth opened his East London Christian mission amid the abject poverty of the largest and poorest urban district in England. Motivated by Wesleyan teaching, Booth was restless in the pastorate and in the connectional relationships that structured English Methodism. His compulsion was evangelism. He dreamed to save the masses, severing his Methodist T.I.s. He launched out on his own, with his talented wife, Catherine, at his side. The Booths learned by experience that the masses comprehended the gospel better when it was accompanied by compassion expressed in efforts to relieve human misery. The Booths' combination of soup and salvation became the key to their ministry. William Booth moved into the east end of London in 1865 and his aim was to preach the gospel message and bring people to faith in Jesus Christ. The plan was that any converts would join existing churches, but it didn't really work out like that. Booth's preaching was dynamic and urgent. Many who would never had gone to church heard him and many hundreds were converted, but after their conversion they still wouldn't go to the churches and if they did, the churches didn't seem to want anything to do with them. Booth began to look for meeting halls and somewhere to create a headquarters for the London mission. The Salvation Army was birthed, and what a movement it was. Opposition was not uncommon for the Salvationists. They would end up with black eyes, torn clothes, broken ankles and wrists, one had a piece bitten out of his arm. The first march Mr. and Mrs. William Booth made to Albert Hall in Sheffield ended up in a riot. They, their officers and soldiers, arrived at the hall wounded, bleeding and battered. Their clothes were torn and covered with filth. Their band instruments smashed. This was not to be uncommon. Often every available hall or room would be denied them. Booth once wrote from Salisbury, the evangelists have to get off the street and into houses to escape this mob. Police refuse protection. Nevertheless, there is a good society. A lot are saved. We must not give up. We will not. William Booth, founder of the Salvation Army, was 83 when he died on August 20th, 1912. His body lay in state for three days at the Congress Hall in Clapton while thousands of people filed past. Some 35,000 attended the memorial service for him at Olympia. God's general was buried on August 29th, 1912.